Medicine really started from a young age just watching my father. Uh, he was a general surgeon in a small town and he would have to leave and by you know, baseball games or middle of the night or at dinner. And I was never really sure what was so important to take you away from the family until when I was about 14, I went with him to the hospital uh, and watched him perform a surgery on a really sick patient. And from then on, I knew I wanted to sort of help people like he, he could do. Well, I knew surgery was the type of medicine I wanted to practice. And then the subspecialty of ENT um, just sort of combined adults with kids. It's a mix of primary care, but also surgery on an acute level when it's necessary. Yeah, I think what I've learned over the years, and I've been in practice uh, over 15 years, what I've learned is every patient is unique. And even though we may spend all this time in medical school and residency learning intensive things about physiology and what algorithms work best, unless you get a patient to feel comfortable to really reveal their symptoms to you, and then really share their goals for treatment, I don't think you can really get the best outcomes. And I think that's a mixture of working at it for many, many years, uh, but also being a patient myself and being in those shoes and realizing that, hey, you know, if, if you cut someone off, even a few seconds early, you may miss something that may dramatically change the outcome.